Hey guys, so I'm really excited to be showing you how I achieved my ombre bob for the summertime. Um, I've been loving the Brazilian straight from her hair company, so I ordered three bundles of the 14 inch to do a bob style. And I made this wig using my same V part method that I used in my Kim K video. If you guys want to follow that tutorial, I'll have the link below so you can see exactly how I made this wig. But what I'm doing is adding two scoops of my L'Oreal Quick Blue to three different bowls. Please excuse the ratchetness in uh, the Ziploc bowl over there but I ran out of the black uh, coloring bowls so basically I'm gonna add two scoops of the bleach and I'm gonna use three different developers and the developer plays a key part in how high you lift the hair so if I'm using a 20 developer I'm lifting the hair two levels 30 three levels 40 so on and so forth so after adding in the developers I'm gonna section off my wig and what I'm doing I apologize for the light but what I'm doing is taking um, little bits and pieces from the surrounding edge which is the bottom piece of my wig and sectioning it off because I want that to be a lighter color so when the wind blows you definitely get peaks of blonde so I'm going to section that off and I'm going to flip this baby over. So now that we got this baby flipped over I'm going to start coloring the first section and this is the back the nape area and um, I guess you can say it's about two inches of hair. I'm going to take my aluminum foil and place it underneath the hair. Now because this is the back and I'm doing a bob style I'm not really going to worry about the tips of the hair so I am going to ignore the tips and really concentrate on what's going to show after I do cut and style this hair. So right now I'm using my 40 developer for this first layer because I want this to be the brightest on this wig and I'm just going to fold the aluminum foil over and very neatly make sure none of the hair is going to touch this 40 developer. So now we're moving on to our second section. We are going to then lay the aluminum foil the same exact way we did for the first section but what we're going to do a little differently here is kind of laid in a T formation and this is because not only are we doing the back section we are moving on to the section of hair that is right above the ear area. So you want to make sure when you're trying to achieve an ombre effect you want the hair to be colored the same way it's going to lay on your head. So if I would have just been coloring the hair um, the same exact way and in the same direction as the first layer it definitely would not hit me the same way and fall the right way so right now this is the 30 developer I have moved on from the 40 and I basically want this to gradually you know fade into the darker hair so I'm going to color more of the hair I'm gonna get closer to the roots now and I'm gonna make sure the ends are being hit because this is going to be what will lay over the short layer As you guys can see, I am putting the 30 developer closer to the roots of the hair and I'm hitting the ends of the hair with the 40 developer because you want it to fade, you want it to have a gradient effect. So I'm going to just fold it over again and let this set. You want to very neatly do this because you do not want any of the hair that you don't want colored being colored. So just make sure you're very neat and meticulous when you're sectioning off the hair. Be sure to take a peek at your first section. You want to make sure it's lifting, period, and you want to make sure it's not lifting too fast. So now I'm going to go back to that first section that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And this is the piece that I want it to be a certain color so that when the wind blows, I get this certain effect. So I'm going to take my 20 volume um, developer and I'm going to put this all over, I mean all the way up to the roots on this piece that will be basically um, the edge of my wig. So I am putting the 20 developer all over and I'm making sure this penetrates all the way through and I'm hitting the ends as well. So now we are working with the part area which is the crown of the head. So you're going to lay your wig out exactly how it will lay on your head so you can get an idea of how you want the color to hit you. Now when you're doing an ombre you definitely want it to go at a diagonal. So I'm going to color exactly that way. I'm going to take my brush and stagger on the color. Now another thing you don't want to do is make sure there is not a, a flat line because you don't want a line of demarcation. You want this to kind of be uh, fading into the bronze. You guys can see how I'm sort of staggering that color and kind of bringing it up a little bit higher past the line that I have first put on. And I want this to come up really high in the front so I'm pretty much putting the bleach almost at the tip of my um, I guess V part. So 
I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the next side. And if you need to peek at the other side for reference to see exactly how you stagger the hair, you can do that. Just make sure it's even. You do not want to have that weird lopsided ombre. So please be sure to double and triple check your work, guys, because this can make or break your bob. Honestly, it can be really bad. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing and we're gonna be off to the next step in a second. I forgot to mention that I'm using mainly the Foyer Developer and I'm using the 30 in between as well. Now what I'm going to do is check my bottom layers and they have lifted successfully to the color that I want. I wanted it to be blonde on one side and a little bit darker on the underside which is why I didn't really penetrate the hair when I was coloring it. So I'm just going to rinse out the first two sections and I'll be right back. Now that those sides are rinsed, you guys can see the color is really not going to show because the hair is soaking wet. But I'm going to check the top pieces because I have to give it all equal time to process. Because you know, I put the bleach on this last. So I'm just going to check it and see if it's lifted to the color that I want. And um, it's really not the color yet. So I think I'm going to let it sit for a few more minutes and um, I'll be back to let you guys know what my next step is. I'm gonna let those sections process a little more, but what I'm gonna do now is prepare my uh, mixers with the Collider Colors toner. Now this is a lightening toner, but it lightens the hair and adds nice cool tones to it. So this makes or breaks an ombre. I'm telling you, highlighting your ombre will make you stand out from the others. So what I'm gonna do is mix my 40 developer with this toner, and I'm going to just mix this and make sure I get it to a really wet consistency. Now this creepily smells like blueberry. I don't know if it's me or if I'm psycho or crazy, but it definitely smells like a killer blueberry. So be really careful while mixing this because if you do inhale it, you'll be choking like crazy. Like you guys can't hear, but I'm literally choking while I'm mixing this. So be really careful and um, yeah, just mix it up and we're going to get back to our sections right now. So our unit is rinsed and we're just going to take it and lay it on a big piece of aluminum foil. And I'm going to lay the unit exactly how it would be laying on my head and I'm going to add the Collider Colors in the same diagonal fashion. And I'm going to stagger this as well. Now this is going to give me uh, a deeper blonde color and definitely add warmth and highlight and cool tones to the outer part of my wig. And you really want to saturate your um, wig with this product. It's really, it works really well and definitely gives you a lot of cool tones and um, definitely brings out the blonde a lot. So we're just gonna stagger this and make sure you get all the way down on the tips of the hair as well. do the same exact thing on the other side. Um, basically you can measure where you put your highlighter where the band of your wig is or the circumference of your wig is because you know exactly how it's going to be laying on your head from that point. So I'm basically going to apply it in that same diagonal fashion and stagger it upwards as well. And you can make this as um, sloppy as you want with the staggering because you want it to look really natural. The point of an ombre is so that your hair looks like it 
you know, you have groups, like the color has grown out. So stagger it, chuck the other side, add more product, do whatever you must to make sure this looks absolutely fabulous and natural. So now you're going to cover the wig with another piece of aluminum foil to really promote, you know, the process and we're going to just fold it on top of each other. I find that this actually encourages the process to happen a little faster. So I'm going to let this set for about 10 to 15 minutes and you guys can see I have some really pretty highlights. I'm loving the color. I'm going to rinse it with my Pantene Pro-V. Um, shampoo and conditioner and yes I'm doing it in my kitchen sink and yeah I'm just rinsing my wig out and I'm really happy with the color I cannot wait for this hair to dry so I can really get an idea of what this color looks like but I really hope this tutorial helped you you can apply this method to any weave wig anything this is a great method for ombre and it's a it's an updated ombre tutorial i guess so let me know what you guys think i will be uploading the video on how i cut and style this wig here's a few pictures so you guys can get an idea but i love you so much and thank you for watching Bye bye <laughs>